Hello out there, this is DZ, and welcome back to Let's Play République. <laughs> ah. Now, like I said, I'm continuing right where we left off. Um, so we're heading back into the graveyard, and I am still completely clueless as to what's actually happening here. stuff over here. Kind of. What the hell? Wait, what's that? Ooh. Hi there, big fella. I will hold on to this. Why do you sound so cheerful all of a sudden? What the hell is wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong? What's wrong with you? should not be sounding like this. Also, there's something over there. So that's a book. Okay, she found another banned book. And another petri dish thing. These petri dish samples were earlier means of So there's ten. Another religious text that preaches out of its depth. Marx's manifesto declares factory, church, and state alike subordinate to the workers on whom all depend. This flattery mumbles on to history ignorant of time and place. Marx, the false prophet, preached to an audience in the thrall of industry, not to those who run the modern service economy wherein everyone spins information without organization, like spiders on caffeine. Once a carrier holds such uncontrolled information, it loses neutrality and becomes political, sexual, diversion. This is why the overseer must control the line with a hard hand. Only under his true grip can information find a proper place in shaping the proletariat. Marx is obsolete. Mere content for the line. Hide this lesson manifesto. Well. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna take a look in here. See what the hell we found. We found. Uh, what the hell? Um, what? What? Because we have the address, we know where it goes back. So once we sequence everything, we're able to reconstruct what the original message that you're encoding or digital information that you're encoding in there. What? What are you... What are you talking about? I feel so confused and lost. Yeah, we don't have a map. Great. It's just great. So I'm, I'm literally just stumbling around right now. Ooh, what's that? Wait, what? No, 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 no. There's a thing there. What's that? I will hold on to this. Another Okay, you're creeping me out. I mean you're really creeping me out. Eat more books. The irreligious are no better at saving themselves from illusions of holy ghosts, creating new fantasies instead. They hardly rise above their ape ancestors, hands caught in slender-mouthed jars while grasping for truth. They think we evolved towards some high end point. No, we evolved into our environments, which is the real danger in a digital age. Left to themselves, communities fragment into niche web forums and social media echo chambers. Only an overseer can save them from lapsing into a dark information environment. Really? Jeez, okay. Most depressing worldview ever. I mean, not to say that people aren't, you know... People can't be a bit, uh... Extreme, I suppose, would be the word. But... Oh, God damn it.
Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Let me guess, the bees are going to be a danger. Understood. Holy crap. Carry on. Yes, sir. Take photo. No, I mean seriously, what the hell? This is this is just This is nuts. This is freaking nuts. Avoid the bees. Camera over here. Camera over there. Where's the big fella? Okay, he's there. What the hell's over here? Okay. Crawl space. Okay, this is the other side of the crawl space. Ooh, there's a few things over here. Where is he, though? Where are you, big fella? Are you offended? 
A little bit. You are, however, principled. And that is why I am here. Do you know what I am proposing to do with in my research facility? I think I do. I'm going to ask you again. What is the most important consideration in your particular field? For me personally, can it be done? I'll see you Monday. And together, we'll find out. What? Overseer, how may I help you, sir? Oh, please don't get up. I am actually looking for Dr. Perez. I believe he is reading to the mirrors. Reading? They receive that sort of stimulation then? Only very recently. It is your manifesto. Our manifesto? Of course. Is this yours? I am sorry I did not inform you that I would be bringing a radio. It is okay. I do not use it anymore. Why is that? Mammoth. He... he gets upset. He heard me tell Noam, Dr. Peretz, that the radio waves cut through our brains. They are invisible signals. Mammoth did not like that. And once he has an idea in his head, it is difficult to get rid of it. I see. I would like you to start using the radio again, but only when Mammoth is around. Sir? Yes. Yes. I will watch from that feed whenever he enters the room. What, what is the scientific purpose of this? You said Dr. Perez was with the mirrors. I think I will go see him now. Yes, sir. What the hell? Okay. Three sequence. Oh. Complete. Now available for playback in inventory. We'll see it better in the light of day. What the hell? We have listened to them all. Oh, there's something right there. I'll pick this up. So goddamn weird. There is nothing else to decode. Okay. <laughs> Take it or leave it. I'm not offended. But it is a mistake. It's a very nice tie. But I, I need to go out in the brass. There's no other choice. You walk out there like that. And all the public sees is a battleship. Well, there's no way around it. It's so... Why, Richard, you seem unhinged. Do you need to lie down? I... I, I get like this sometimes. Look, it's just a tie. Where would you like? I won't belabor the point further. No, it's, it's not that. I'm not a face man. I hate this dog and pony show. Relax. This is our opportunity to tell our side of things. We've done nothing wrong. What's my opener? Just tell them the truth. Here, tell them... Tell them what you told me the night of the inauguration. <clears throat> I believe in what this agency has been entrusted to do. Right down to my soul. I, uh... Soul's good. <clears throat> I do defend our nation, our allies, and uh, our agents abroad from outside threats. Who's the uh, but excellent. And remember, 
Remember what? Civilian. Oh, right. And to defend our nation while protecting the civil liberties of our citizens. Good. Ah, uh, but Vice Admiral Matthews, what about your vast array of data centers? Those can't strictly be for saving information on other foreign threats. Surely they are used to store evidence on U.S. citizens as well. Uh, of the data centers on U.S. soil? Absolutely not. We do not hold data on the citizens of the United States there. <laughs> Stop. No, no, I'm impressed. <laughs> Marjorie will be proud of you. Oh, that reminds me. I should call her. After. First, you need to go out there and tell the people how we intend to save them, Mr. Director. What? Are you watching the TV? I am. It would seem my whistleblower made good. It wasn't her. This guy was a system admin. Operating under his own warped sense of justice. What? What about my plant? She never made her move. Well, what the hell is this guy's story? I don't know. But I'd prefer we had control of all the variables here. Vice Admiral, you don't need to talk to me about control. Just follow the protocol. Tax evasion, stripper girlfriend. In fact, if there's something you want me to run a search on, I'd be happy... Don't get carried away. You keep the day-to-day -to, -day to us. I do wish we had the prefab package with what's-her-name. She came with a strong motive to discredit. Well, look on the bright side. No one can trace this back to you. Plausible deniability. Now we can hasten our move to Terminus. I suppose. Richard, this is the black eye we needed. Let's fumble the follow-up like we discussed and look grossly incompetent doing so. Then we'll go talk to the DOD about outsourcing. Sound almost flipped. Where is this noble fool? I want to send him a token of appreciation. <laughs> and I'd like to send him up the river on charges of violating the Espionage Act. But he's fled the country. To what destination? Russia. Ah, a spy after my own heart. What the fuck? Uh, what's the matter? Lately, you sound distant. Probably our new encryption tech. I don't mean the phone line. I know what you mean. I'm flat out with Terminus. Data collection is a beguiling Lorelei, Richard. It's keeping all of us very engaged at present. Let's be clear about something. You signed an oath to collect and store for the clandestine agencies of the U.S. government. That does not empower you to tamper with or exploit any of the information in Terminus. Nor does it allow you to play peeping Tom into the private lives of the American people? Vice Admiral, we are in business together, in pursuit of a common interest. But do not tell me what to do. I am not an American citizen. Terminus is not U.S. property. You rent from me. Hey, calm down. I mean to ruffle your feathers. Forty years of living in your country left me plucked there. I'm sorry you feel that way. We are in your debt. As a nation, and me, personally. Oh, don't get soft, Richard. I didn't make your problems go away out of some personal obligation. I just think you're the best man for the job. So go do that job. And leave me alone to do my Okay, this is getting steadily more effed up. What? Are you cold? I'm okay. The heat is out. Not just my office, but the entire building. I'm pace. Yes, keep the blood flowing. Oh, these are beautiful. Thank you. And they grow right here on the winds. Most times of the year, you see them on the roads. Fields of them, growing freely. I'm afraid I didn't see much besides snow on the drive-in. People think this country is all desert. Hot, flat, dry. But we are high up in the mountains. May I sit? You are a 
gifted comparative genomicist. Do you know why I am here? To offer me a job. An opportunity. Did your medical director explain it to you? Briefly. Encoding. Precisely. Are you up to the challenge, Dr. Amar? With all due respect, it is not much of a challenge. The Zetabyte may be a lot of data for you, but for us, it is a trifle. At most, we are talking about a gram of synthetic DNA. I am not talking about synthetic DNA. <laughs> then where do you want your data stored? What? Um, excuse me? I don't like how this is sounding. Transmission. You did. You know what I have been trying to tell you. You are right, Abba. It's the American government. You are right. They will put us in jail. They will lock us away forever. We'll figure something out. But first, we must get the precal out of the moat. We bury him before anyone knows he's missing. When did life become? Jeez. What the hell? Okay, okay, hold on. Oh, wait. What? Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to I need to find a spot that's going to be safe ish. That's perfectly fine. Looks about bored. Okay. So we'll follow him. Yes. 
Okay, we got it. Now we just need to get back outside, I guess. Circle. Triangle. Nothing to see here. Uh huh. Okay, where are you gonna go, mammoth? Okay, he's headed that way. So we will head this way. Hopefully, we'll be lucky enough to not run into him. within where X marks the spot. Uh-huh. Wait, can we get out through the window? Oh. You'll kiss the He's gunner's daughter. Crap. Crap. Understood. Wait, what? We're back here. Do we still have everything? We have everything else. Son of a bitch. Okay, I guess I'll call it here then. Um... Hopefully that means this is a save point. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. Check out links in the description for Republique on Steam, although this is the PS4 version I'm playing. And there are a few links there if you wish to contact me more directly, feel free to do so. And well, in the next part, we'll see if we can get those bolt cutters and get the hell out of here. Until then, though, this is DZ. You guys have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> oh.